Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. Today we will look at how to create the different forms within Synchro Control. On the right hand side of your screen you have the quick links options. From here you can create the different types of forms such as issues, site observations, RFIs and daily logs. On the left hand side we have the forms module. This will lay out all the different types of forms as well. Today we'll be looking at the issues module. It will bring us to the table view of all the issues that have already been created for this project. To create a new issue, simply click on the blue new button at the top of the table. This will open up a new issue form. We'll need to fill out all the mandatory subject fields. You'll have the option to put in a description. Next, you will have a drop down options for the type and priority fields. Control allows you to assign team members and due dates to the forms that you create. It also allows users to add documents from your computer or from your control documents. Within Synchro Control, you can geographically tag your forms in the map option. As you can see here, we have a PDF from the plan set attached directly to the map, which we can reference to tag our issues. This becomes very handy, especially if your project doesn't have a 3D model yet. Simply drag the icon to the required location on the map and hit the check mark. Next, we will take a look at the model feature. Like the map, you can tag forms directly to the model. Again, simply drag the icon to the required location in the model. Within the model, you can scroll through the timeline to the exact point in time you want to tag that form to. Once saved, you will have the option to add a detailed description to the map and model locations. Once everything is filled out and complete, hit save and assign. Once the form is assigned, it will show up in the table view. You also have the option to see the forms in the map view. The map view will lay out the location of the issues tagged in the map. You will also see icons and blue circles with numbers. The blue circles are forms that have been tagged to similar locations. Once we scroll in, it will separate into individual icons. You can hover over the icon, then click on the form number to see the form information. From here, you can see the form details, leave comments, and see the audit trail of who did what and when, and reference the workflow if needed. We will also have the model view that identifies any forms that have been tagged to the model. We can scroll through the timeline populated by the construction schedule to see when the issues were created and see them disappear once they have been resolved. This is a very handy feature if you ever need to go back and reference past issues. Same as the map view, you just need to hover over the icon to access the issue information. On the table view below, we can perform simple searches, sorting, and filtering. Towards the end of the table, we will see a few different icons. This icon here helps us access the comments quickly. These icons identify if the issue has been tagged to the map or tagged to the model. And this last icon indicates that the issue has attachments. Next, the ellipsis or the three dots at the end of the table allow you to view the details, attach any other related forms from the project with a simple search, or even escalate the issue to an RFI. You can also create a copy or export to PDF and quickly reassign to another member of the team if need be. Finally, we can export the list to Excel as well. Thank you.